everybody, welcome to the weekend. I have very exciting news today. I used to be the type of person who said I didn't have regrets because every choice you make in life, everything you do in life leads you to the person you are today, blah, 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 blah. Kind of feel that way to a certain extent, but I certainly have regrets now, big time. There's a lot of things that I wish I did differently or didn't do at all. But one of the things that I have regrets about is that I never bought Taylor Swift tickets when I could have. As we all know by now, I love me some Taylor Swift and I was not able to go when she was in Los Angeles, but then she announced more dates and I knew she was going to Vancouver and I looked into tickets and they were expensive but like I found some pretty good like floor seats for like 700 bucks and obviously that's a lot of money so at the time I was like okay I'm just gonna wait maybe the prices will go down stupid they did not go down and now like the cheapest ticket is like two thousand dollars but I'm stupid and I didn't get tickets when I could have in Vancouver and I really regret that so much because now it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to go unless she adds more dates I'm just hoping and praying that she might add like another Los Angeles date and I'll just try to get a ticket immediately but but anyway, that's a regret of mine. Olivia Rodrigo is on tour and I love Olivia Rodrigo. I think she is super talented. I love her music. I keep seeing videos pop up of her performing and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could see her live. So I looked up tickets like a month ago and they were expensive. So I was like, well, maybe they'll get cheaper. Mm, stupid person. And so then I went to buy tickets again and they definitely are getting more expensive. And I was like, dang it. Okay, I should have got them when I had the chance. I don't want to make the same mistake I made with Taylor Swift and just fully regret not ever going. So I bit the bullet and I bought Olivia Rodrigo tickets and I'm so excited. Were they overpriced? Absolutely. But I am so freaking excited. I'm gonna put on some fishnets and some big old chunky boots and some sort of a lavender purpley outfit or I don't know, I'm gonna do something and I'm just so excited to scream and jump and have so much fun and probably be the oldest person at her concert. I am so happy. You know what's funny? I met her a billion years ago when she was just a wee little tot. I literally just met in passing. We were both at the same event and she asked for a picture and that was that. So anyway, I'm very excited about that. The one thing that I'm sad about is that Chapel Rowan won't be on tour with her anymore and I love her so much so I'm really bummed about that she was Olivia Rodrigo's opener and now she's not and so I'm just a little bit like heartbroken about that because I would have loved to see her live I think she's so incredibly talented and unique and just such an incredible natural born performer she's like the perfect combination of camp talent uniqueness beauty perfection I just think she's oh man she is just Incredible. Anyway, I'm very excited to see Olivia Rodrigo. I'm so excited. Jello, grape flavor. That is delicious. Let's crack open a geode, shall we? It's raining outside, so I'm gonna have to do it in my garage. Oh, also, I started the process of tumbling sea glass. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that I went to the thrift store and bought a bunch of colored glass because there's a lot of comments telling me that I should tumble my own glass. Eric and I do prefer to like find it ourselves. That's part of the fun for us. It's like the hunt for the glass. It just doesn't feel the same to just like break the glass and tumble it myself. It's not the same. We want it to be sea glass. There's something about knowing that it's it's been in the ocean tumbling for years and years and years. I don't know, there's just something magical and special about that to us, but I still wanted to try tumbling glass. So I did that. It just needs to tumble for a few days, I think. So hopefully in a couple days, you'll see what it looks like. But for now, let's break open another geode or two because I have a bunch of those little cute small ones. Okay, so we're gonna have to crack them in the house, which is terrifying, but it is very cold and very wet outside. So luckily they're little tiny geodes. These are the three I chose today. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna do it inside of of a sock so it doesn't get all over the house. We'll start with the smallest geode, put it in the sock. I have a piece of cardboard and a little towel. No safety goggles today. I'm doing it in the sock so I think I'm safe. In the comments, some of you told me I should be cracking it open with the sharp end of the hammer. So I'm gonna try that today. Hopefully I don't poke holes in my floor. I don't think I should be doing this inside. I think this is a horrible idea. When I'm outside, I'm protected by the rain a little bit right here, so we're gonna do it right now. Oh my God, it worked. That was so easy. I'm gonna crack them off first and then I will show you what they look like at the end. David, get out of the room. Wesley just woke up from his nap, so I have to go fast. He's just chilling in his crib right now, staring, looking around. He's happy, but I'm gonna have to go up and get him in a second. Next, I'm gonna open up this big one. <gasps> crack, one more. Oh, that one shattered. All right, let's take a look inside. Wesley's awake. <laughs> My little happy boy. Uh, What's that? Chapstick. Chapstick. He found my jello chapstick. Do you have a good nap? Uh, yes. What did you dream about? Some bubbles. A bubbles? 
bubbles. Oh, that's good dreams. Yes. I love makeup. You love makeup? Lalo. Which one are you going to pick next, Wessie? Lalo. You want the Lalo? Yeah, Wessie. What's the difference? The sea shark monster. Oh, the shark monster trap? I can already have it. Yeah, you can have it. What's this? It's a megalodon. A megalodon? Yeah. No, please. I want to do it. See what she did it. Why she did a good job. I think I like it. Yeah, you can try it on. Try it on. Ooh, is it pretty? Yes. Feel good? Yes. Yes. That one? Do you need help, Wes? No, I can do it. It's a twisty, Wes. Twist, twist, twist. Just twist the bridges. I want to see the big one, and it's so strong. You want to open it? No. Can you put this on your mouth? That's a lipstick. It's not a popsicle, it's, it's makeup. See, look, watch this. You give it kisses. Like that, you give it a kiss. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. Okay, here's geode number one. This one is pretty solid. Not very exciting. Just completely solid. It also kind of is dirty a little bit inside. I don't know. Here's the next one. It's the biggest one I opened today. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I mean, it's fine. It's cute. She's cute. She's humble. Nothing too exciting. Here's the last one. And in case you were wondering if you can hot glue geodes back together, uh, you can, because I did it. There's hot glue all over this thing. It shattered into a million pieces. So there's no way for me to do like an opening reveal without gluing it back together. It looks pretty terrible, but it worked. So anyway, here's the final one. And this is actually my favorite one. La, da, da. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I don't know. I'm really pleased with this one, guys. This one's pretty cool. I'm sad it shattered into a million pieces, but I'm glad that I know how to hot glue geodes back together. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping that I would get colorful geodes with this kit. It kind of advertised it as like a bunch of colorful geodes. And so far I got one like dark gray one, but I think the rest have been just clear white quartz inside, which is still very pretty, but not colorful. Anyway, there's your geodes of the day. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, the other day I was cleaning up my office and came across my old prayer journals, which I love to go back and read through. And I was reading one from when I was like a preteenish age, I don't know, maybe 12 or 13. And the prayers in it were making me giggle. I mean, at the time, I'm sure I took them very seriously, but now looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so funny that these are the things I thought I needed to pray about. I thought it would be fun to like try to sing some of the prayers that I did when I was younger. I don't know why, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. gonna end up doing piano like regular piano which would be but it might be kind of fun to do like it kind of sounds churchy right dear lord it's not quite right what about an organ i'm confused all the time i don't know i kind of feel like it should just be a piano all right so here we go this is a prayer to jesus when i was around 12 or 13 years old. Dear Lord, I've decided that this will be my prayer journal. I need help. This puberty stuff is hard. And I was wondering if you could help. I'm confused all the time. My mom is what confuses me the most. She's making me upset. is trying to protect me, but she won't let me wear shorts to school. Sorry, I had to stop, because I started crying. I told you this puberty stuff is confusing. right when I started high school. So I went from homeschool to a public big high school and I wanted to wear what the other girls were wearing and I wanted to wear short shorts and my mom was like, hmm, no, you just turned 13, I think you're fine. Cause yeah, if I wrote this about wanting to wear shorts in high school, then I would have been 13. Cause I was 13 when I went to high school. Anyway, I thought that was very funny. Let me know if you want me to sing more of my diaries. Hi everyone, it's the next day. Erica and I just recorded the podcast. Oh, here's Gus. 
See how loving he is? Hey baby. Come here. No. Whenever I show Daisy in a vlog and I don't show Gus, this comments are like, what happened to Gus? Where's Gus? Gus is right here. He follows us around the house and he owns the house and it's his house, but he just doesn't like being touched. He's like, don't touch me. Don't come near me. But also, I want to be around you, but don't touch me. Guess. Welcome to the rock portion of the vlog. Actually today I need to check on the sea glass because it's been two days of tumbling. I did burp it yesterday because you have to like let air out I guess every single day because something about the glass and the science makes it so that like the whole tumbler could like explode and make a mess. So you're supposed to burp it every day. So I did do that yesterday. I need to check on the glass today because I read that it takes about five days to tumble glass but some of the pieces that I put in there were small and I feel like they could be done so I'm gonna check on it. This is what it looks like after two days in the tumbler, so I think it definitely needs more time, but it's looking pretty good, honestly. These are going into stage three. They're so pretty. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because Macy started feeling a little bit under the weather, so I just was in full mom mode. And when my kids need extra love and cuddles and snuggles, I'm gonna do that. So that's what I did the majority of the day yesterday, which I will never complain about extra snuggles and cuddles for my sweet little babes. Anyway, tomorrow's Tortilla Talk Tuesday, so please leave lots of questions for me down below. I would love to read all of your questions and comments, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye guys.